Hey, Shay Matthew Kinisher here with Shay 3.0. I want to talk about something that I've been coming across a lot lately in researching um, programming languages, what languages are good for new developers, for junior developers. Uh, excuse the light and the sound, I'm taking a stroll in my neighborhood and there's cars and people cutting their grass and um, I kind of miss that, that early dawn perfect photographic lighting. So. Uh, get some sun like shooting through the trees here but um, the question is is Ruby slash rails dead um, or is it dying I've been coming across this quite a bit lately and um, <clears throat> I think that the answer is basically no specifically is it dying or is it dead no definitely not but there's a caveat, which is it isn't what it once was. So for a new developer, it seems to be the case that uh, Ruby is going to be harder to crack into. And when I say Ruby, I'm going to include Rails in that too. Ruby is going to be harder to crack into. It still can be foundational um, to learn as a, as a programmer. In fact, uh, Ruby is the first language that I've ever explored um, like on Code Academy when I started a couple years ago and um, going to a boot camp in two weeks that's really gonna kind of throw me in and Ruby's gonna form a core part of that learning too so Ruby's there there's a lot of work to maintain that's been done in Ruby um, but for a junior developer it can be hard to crack into because there are a lot of people who are super good at it and they do it all day, all day and they have been and there's a lot of systems already built in it and people who have been doing it uh, full time for a while that goes for most programming languages except for the very very new ones but sorry I'm getting like a super uh, eclipse right now with the sun right behind me it won't last too long um, <clears throat> you get all these 100k jobs out there with uh, with Ruby and um, they're all senior level right so you know as a junior developer that's not gonna it's not likely that you'll get in on that there are a lot of people who are much more qualified already in Ruby who are taking up all that space versus some of these other new technologies and frameworks uh, that are coming out right now that some of which may be faddish uh, some of which probably aren't in other words they may come and go uh, Ruby had its heyday. It's not um, what it once was, but it's established itself. So it's not dead. It's going to be around for quite some time. And uh, that's the dead part. <laughs> uh, the sort of dying part, you have to kind of rephrase it, but it, uh, it like I said, it's, it's, it's going to be around because it's in there. It's already sort of got its foot in the door it's been in for a while uh, but this is focusing on junior developers like myself where um, if you want to develop a specialization in something that's going to set you apart also something that's going to allow you to get in on um, on jobs uh, whether they're listed formally as junior developer jobs or just jobs in general or whatever kind of work that you're looking to do um, Ruby might not be the best choice uh, you have a lot of competition, a lot of very skilled competition versus new frameworks that you can hop in on, get good at, and uh, kind of differentiate yourself. Um, one of those things is uh, React Native that's been suggested to me, and I'm looking a lot more into it. Um, the ability to do uh, mobile native um, work is cool. Uh, I consider doing iOS or, uh, or Android, particularly iOS um, with Swift, but I don't think that Swift is really, uh, I don't think it's really a good programming. Well, let me, let me qualify that because people can be like, who the hell is this kid? Knows nothing. Junior developer saying that Swift is not a good programming language. But just from what I've researched and I've seen, um, the whole Swift, I mean, Objective-C seems to be out. That's what people are saying. But uh, Swift, um, as kind of, you know, the new iOS thing, uh, it, it looks messy and hard to deal with versus React Native, which you can, um, 
kind of you know manage more javascript sort of ex more accessible etc cetera, etc cetera. i'll probably do other videos in these languages as well anyway that's my thoughts on uh, on ruby it's kind of like a foundational piece but the boat has kind of passed and it's sort of uh already in the system there'll continue to be good jobs in there but it might not be the best choice for a junior developer to solely focus on ruby um then again everything's going pretty much uh, you know full stack if you want to kind of go that route and know multiple technologies but job wise and work wise and career wise it's good to have a specialization and something that kind of differentiates yourself um, especially at first as you kind of like work your way up uh, if you have any thoughts about Ruby you want to uh, disagree with this and uh, tell me that Ruby is still the best thing in the world and is getting even better um, please do so in the comments if you uh, if you like this video please click the like button and go ahead and subscribe follow me on my journey as a new software developer as i explore this field and um, i share my thoughts along the way so this is shay 3.0 signing out